So ladies and gentlemen, I've got some really exciting news. We've got our first set of wheels. Woo, rise and grind, my friends. Welcome to an early morning here over at the shop. We've got absolutely action-packed day where we're gonna be running all over Lancaster County getting a bunch of stuff done related to the Ram project. And we're gonna be picking up a new set of wheels today, as a matter of fact. I've never bought this specific brand of forged wheels, but today will be the first time and I'm thinking that I'm gonna reveal them to you guys because they're actually gonna go through a transformation from the version that I'm picking them up today to the final version that will be going on Bandit here behind us. Now, before we get any further into this upload, I just wanted to remind you guys that the end of Dream Diesel giveaway number 21, AKA Lone Star and $30,000 cash is this month. We're already in December and time is absolutely flying by. Don't let the holiday hustle and bustle distract you from getting entered to win that truck is truthfully come the new year you might be taking the keys to the title and the cash all right let's go ahead and get this thing loaded up here just one thing in the back because we've got a lot of precious cargo all the goodies loaded up we've got our headlights going down mirrors front ram badge we've actually got some goodies here from our friends over at boost auto i love these guys they are awesome make great parts we're going to be switching out them factory little lights there with these sweet smoked white amber switchback combo plug and play from boost auto parts tail lights loaded up and some other components right up front here we got to have them ride in style maybe we'll even turn the heated seat on keep them nice and cozy on their ride should be interesting to see how this whole build materializes across its timeline because we may be finishing it up in the new shop and mid move halfway through the build it could get kind of interesting so we've got all these other goodies that are all pulled apart bumpers stripped down plastics removed trims removed fender flares off badges off fender liners out the whole grill in the last upload we pulled apart and i ripped the crap out of my hands in the process man these plastic components are sharp as shit so that's all ripped down ready to rock and roll same thing bumper fog light fog light bezels removed valence off all plastics stripped and truck ready to rock and roll it is going to be going in for a wrap i was thinking about doing a blacked out build for bandit but i found a color that's super unique and it's going to fit this thing even better than it being black and the wrap is going Going to begin sometime next week one thing that i'm super excited about is grabbing new thumbnails when we're inside the new pole building it's going to just be a dramatically improved experience because in this shop right now the lighting isn't the best better than nothing but isn't the best and we can only really ever get one thumbnail which is that kind of front quarter in the front of the building because we don't have the space around it whereas in the new building that lift is going to be front dead in center and we're going to be able to get all the angles yet yeah, it's just going to be Take a good long look, ladies and gentlemen. This is gonna be the last of the factory appearing components forever for Bandit. We've got everything down here at Peach Bottom Auto Body and you can see we've got some really nice vehicles and parts down here to say the least. I was presented with an oh so gorgeous display of all of these GM mirrors right in front of us. And it's pretty cool. You can see obviously all the epic paint match that Peach Bottom is capable of, but also some of the combinations that customers are ordering and having them ship out once completed. You can see right here, we've got some switchbacks that were painted, but these are the clear lens. And then you can see the tinted lens that were painted over in a silver, in a black, and in a red, isn't that such a gorgeous display right there? What's your favorite combo, guys? Do you like the tinted with paint match, as you can see here on the silver and the red? Or do you like the clear with the paint match 
Both very clean combinations to say the least. We didn't drop all that much off this time around for the Bandit build because it is going to be getting wrapped. We will be checking up on Accelerate Auto at some point here over the next series of the few vlogs, maybe even potentially this afternoon if I get some time, talk about all the little nitty gritty details that are gonna be playing into this Longhorn Mega Cat. So we've got some door handles down here. We've got the tail lights, we've got the mirrors, and then we've got the headlights and the front Ram badge. That is all that we're gonna be getting painted on this truck in addition to installing these switchback dotted strips from Boost Auto Parts. And big shout out to those guys. When I had debuted this truck on YouTube, it wasn't but two days later that those mirrors showed up on my front porch without even asking. Boost Auto Parts, some true enthusiasts over there. Last but not least, we can't forget the lower front valence. That would have been a bad move on my behalf. Man, I haven't seen the family down here at Peach Bottom in quite a bit, and as much as I wanna stay down here and catch up with everybody, boys and girls, we got places to be, people to see, and parts to secure. A few moments later. Next stop here is the one-stop shop for all things wheels, tires, and lift kits in Lancaster County, and that's none other than the boys and girls at Standout Specialties, man, they have made some incredible improvements to their facility since they've moved in here. And it continues to look better and better and better. We had our oh so cute guard dog over there hanging out amongst all these awesome wheels and tires. Aaron right here hanging out, helping us out with our first set of KG1 wheels today. We're pretty pumped up about it, are we not? So let's do a little bit of browsing and perusing today, shall we? Their displays are looking incredible. This place continues to get nicer and nicer and nicer as Standout is really making this location stand out. It's only since been June, so nearly six months since they've moved in, and this place looks awesome. They've got a whole bunch of really sweet setups in here, from your standard kind of more narrow, beefier tire setups, all the way over to some of your bigger profiles, like right back here. We've got some fuel forge, what look like dually rears. JTX forge polish, I'm gonna say that they're a 24 by 12, but they're already claimed. We've got a few sets of American Forces over here, so anybody local looking for some Forces right now, I know these ones right here, 22 by 14, eight on 170 options, still available, not seeing any sold tags. Then over here, it looks like these are gonna be some 22 by 12s. And then over here, we've got some really clean 22 by 10s, what look like Trax or Evo SS8s. This is gonna get you not so much poke, but for the guys that wanna run the 35, 12 and a half, potentially 37 inch setup on a leveled Ford or Ram, boom, right there is your option, boys. A few more dually setups here, some fuel, some KG1 options. Ah, oh, man, the eye candy is real. Tires on tires on tires on tires. Tell you what, guys, those new Venom RTs that you can see piled up right there are tremendously popular over here. And they are a really, really, really good tire. I'm super happy with those things on Lone Star. So much so that I'm actually thinking about potentially adding a set of them to this truck if I decide to go 24s. I had weighed in on some questions there on Instagram. If you don't follow me, then you might want to go over and comment on that post because I am potentially considering changing the setup on this truck. You guys know what I love most about what I do other than everything is the fact that all of my homies are the people that I get to surround myself with every single day and they're all right here in the epic County of Lancaster and it's sweet because days like today I can bounce all around and see everybody that it is that I thoroughly enjoy hanging out with because they're all within an arm's reach so ladies and gentlemen welcome back to Accelerate Auto. So we've been dealt a color swatch palette of all the Inoza Tech colors and one of them is the lucky one which one are we going to be going with this time around ladies and gentlemen take a look at all of these epic, epic colorways that a nose attack has to offer. This film is incredible. I am unbelievably astonished with how well it works and how well it looks and how well it goes on. Decisions, decisions, my friends. So ladies and gentlemen, I've got some really exciting news. We've got our first set of KG1 Forge wheels and we also have the first set of four ever self-floating center caps from KG1 in a very specific color. I'm gonna get this truck up on the lift. We're gonna throw one on, see what it looks like.
first ever set of KG1 wheels and first ever set of floater CNC forged center caps. And from my understanding, it's one of the first ever sets of forged center caps that are floaters by KG1 that are black. And yes, they're black because the wheels will be getting powder coated black. It's way easier, especially in today's market where it's hard to get anything to get wheels without any finish because it doesn't add any more complexity to the manufacturing process. Rather, we've got an awesome network, as I mentioned earlier in the vlog, here in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania, that handles everything turnkey. We're gonna be getting these wheels powder coated black. So what we're looking at here, ladies and gentlemen, are a set of 24 by 14, negative 73 offset gear is the name of this design, G-E-N. A -R. It is an awesome non-directional wheel by KG1, and it's got some really cool details to the flat finish face. With the lift kit that we're gonna be going with on this truck, I didn't wanna go anything wider. If my calculations serve me as correct, which I have about a 95% confidence, we'll be able to turn with the wheel and tire set up full turn with the lift kit combination that we're going with on this thing. It's gonna look absolutely awesome. But these wheels, they bring back a lot of similar feels to my first ever set of 14 wides by American Force, which were Trax SS8s. They're kind of like a similar web design, a lot of symmetry throughout, and they have these cool little CNC channels that kind of go throughout the design, giving it a lot of very nice dimension. I like it because it has a lot, but it's very minimal and very simple. And now that I'm looking at the front of the wheel, actually, I can kind of make out the gear. Do you guys see it? You see it? I actually didn't notice that until like right now. I'll zoom in a little bit. You see the gear right there coming off of the center cap? This little shape. So I guess maybe that is indicative of the naming convention of this wheel. I didn't notice that until we were sitting here staring at it, but I think it makes total sense now. And then it plays out to these other elevated portions that kind of are like horseshoe style around. So you can really break that out in a lot of different ways and it looks awesome. And then we've got, of course, these KG1 forged floating center cap. So as we drive, we're gonna be Rolls Royce style where these are kind of just gonna float right around in the center. And when we park, they'll be perfectly vertical every single time. Very nice center cap by KG1, which are already gloss black. And we're gonna have then the wheels to match. Truthfully, I was actually gonna blast right over to the powder coater and not even do this, but I was eager to see them on the truck just to get a little tease as to the direction that it's gonna be going. And I really wanted to show them to you guys before we get them finished so you can enjoy every step of the process. Hey, we'll come to find out the powder coater. Powder coater. It'd be really good if I could speak English today. Our powder coater is actually closed because he's out on vacation. Hey, I don't blame the guy. He actually happens to get back right on my birthday, which is December 8th. Boys, I'm gonna be turning the big 3-0. Over the hill, is that over the hill? Is that 40, is it 50? I have no idea. Feels like it's over the hill. It's gonna be crazy, 3-0. For the last 10 years, I've been writing two for my age. Now I have to remember to write a three. It's gonna be a crazy change. Can we just take a minute, look at the view? It's so new and I freaking love it, boys. What are the homies up to today? I'm gonna jump on inside here in a minute. Let's take a minute to appreciate the Christmas decor on the outside of the pole building. And guys, we've got some new additions. Can you see them? That's pretty hard. But if you look down yonder, see that thing coming off the top left corner of the building? Yep, we've got some gutters. Commercial grade at that too, because we've got an 80 foot run sloped to exit right there at the SVL 90. We are gonna end up trenching down to do some underground drainage out to the back stormwater management. I'm pretty excited, guys. That's gonna reduce all of this right here, although it has been kind of helping in small amounts to clean some of this 2A modified stone. It's a little dirty. It is going to track some stone into the building. I'm still looking for the best solution for a kind of driveway, because I'm not gonna pave it right away. There's still a lot of things that I wanna do out here that would involve construction, heavy equipment, and other things. And I really don't wanna be running heavy equipment over nice asphalt an expensive asphalt at that. So I'm gonna stick to stone probably throughout the winter, maybe pave sometime next spring. I don't know, we'll see what happens. But do you guys have any suggestions? I was thinking like more of a 2B modified, which is like this. It's a little bit of a cleaner stone. You can see it doesn't pack very well. Whereas the 2A stuff, when you've got some weight over it time and time again, it packs in really, really nice. We are also doing gutter guards as well. That way we can keep all of those out of there. So we've got some deliveries here. As you guys know, we're working on some stuff in the building and I don't want to reveal too much quite yet, but I'll just show you that much. What do you guys see? It's a different color out there, but don't fret. This is not the final color. This is the final color. All of this right here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 boxes of epoxy coating that are gonna be going down. In other news, 
Thank you, Detroit Radiant Products. You guys are absolutely fantastic. They sent us out our propane heater, so now we're all hooked up. We have our heat shield all synced at a nice 45 degree angle. And last but not least, I need to hire in a professional to hook up the propane. We're gonna run a thermostat right down here to the wall. I think this is the best placement because with the 45 degree angle, it will be shooting out to the shop. And right here, won't be getting a direct line of heat, as you can see. So we're gonna experiment with the location there versus anywhere else for the time being. So what do you think, Jack? The building's essentially complete, buddy. Are you excited? Yeah, here, you wanna hold the camera? Whoa, you're like the world's youngest little YouTuber. You are fulfilling a lot of kids' dreams right now by being on a YouTube channel, do you know that? It's like yeah. the thing right now. It's like what everybody's into. Can you say hi? Hi. Good job. He's getting the hang of it, guys. Before you know it, this little man's gonna grab the camera and run off and tell his own stories on the channel. Boy, I can't wait for that day. It's gonna be amazing. With that being said, Jack and Little Jack are reminding you to grab your entries for that studly vehicle right there behind you because, tell him, buddy, you can have a chance to win that thing and take it home, put their name right on the title and take $30,000 in cash. You don't even know what that is right now, but it's all good. You're just more concerned about that hoodie string. It's delicious. Good. Seriously, guys, we're so grateful as always for the family that is this YouTube channel. And we'll look forward to seeing y'all in the next upload.